Hey, hey. What's up? Uh, I want to make a little video on character animator and specifically using uh, Puppet Maker. Been playing around with it and it's actually pretty, pretty cool. Okay, first I made a new project. Then you want to go to the Home tab and over here to Make a Puppet. And that will open up the Puppet Maker. So in Puppet Maker, you have all these uh, styles right here that come with it. And with these styles, you have all these different elements that you can change about the puppet. And if you'd like, you can just hit randomize. And I'll just do random puppets. So let's try another one. This one I found really interesting. All right. So you can randomize these puppets. I mean, all the elements are here also. So if you have something specific in mind, you can, uh, you can play with it. So let's, let's go with that. And then you can generate it. And then that gives you a scene right here. And you have all these um, behaviors. So for instance, I can move it back and forth. We have all these triggers. And we also have uh, different backgrounds. Have it set up to animate with the with the mic. And something I'd like to do is create an additional puppet added to the scene. And let's randomize this one also. There we go. Noodles. We'll generate that. And now we've got two puppets. Uh, we can bring them into the same scene. Let's go to the Mega Robot scene and drag in Noodles. And we don't want to use the background from Noodles, so let's um, select the Noodle puppet and we'll just turn off the background. Let's see if that works. Back to the scene, and there we go. We have a transparent background for our noodles and we can this guy actually walks so you can use the left and right arrow to walk and then we can switch back to because we probably need to animate that so let's just move move them over for right now so we can see both the puppets and you can switch back to mega robot and have them animated also I don't think they have in. It doesn't have a a walk animation. You probably have to add a transform. So let's see. Mega robot doesn't seem to have a walk animation. So you can um, adjust the transform some more. One thing uh, I found out while playing around with this is that you can separate out the backgrounds from the puppet. So right now with the mega robot the background is part of the puppet. Fortunately it has a separate transform for the puppet and the background but some puppets uh, it's all in one. But For example let's go to let's generate Friday. So with the Friday puppet, let's go to the Mega Robot scene. Let's bring in the Friday puppet. Drag her on top. Now if you look at the Friday puppet here, um, actually it does have a, a, a separate transform for the background, but it doesn't have a separate transform for the character. All right, here we are back in the scene. Let's get a Friday. If we adjust the position, it brings the background with it. So what you can do is either create a new behavior for the puppet character, or you can uh, make the background shareable. So if we look at the the rig here and click on puppet 
Oh, we don't need to do that. Let's go on Puppet. We can add a behavior here for transform. So now we have a transform for just the puppet. And what you can also do is you can select a layer and right click and make make it shareable. And then now it has a separate puppet, which is just the background layer. So we can go back to Accord. We could bring we could bring the Brooklyn background into the back. We can look at Friday. We can turn off the background on her puppet. Let's go back to the scene. And now we have her without the background, but she also has a she also has now a transform just for her just for the puppet in case you wanted to keep the background. And now we can also turn off the background for I think this, this is a uh, mega robots. So let's turn that off for now. And go back to the scene. And now we have the Brooklyn, which is on its own layer. And since we made it shareable, it, it lost all its uh, behaviors. So what we can do is go back into the puppet, the, uh, the background Brooklyn puppet, and add a transform behavior. So when we go back to the scene, now Brooklyn also has a transform. And of course, you can also, um, you know, animate these. Just set a uh, keyframe here. Move the timeline. Change the position. And it should automatically keyframe there. And if you play, there we go. And you know, you'd record the, um, the audio and any other triggers separately. So hope that was interesting and um, like and subscribe. Thank you.